I guess you could do photography and videography, but that <laughs> that requires uh, skill. I'm... <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. not wrong. You're not yeah. wrong. Yeah. So Dara Fox has been popping off with the VR chat content, honestly. He's making all the videos that I think embody the voice of the community without being overly negative or overly biased. And God knows how many VR chat creators in this community are biased. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Vestero. I appreciate it. I've been making YouTube videos for over a year now, mostly about VR chat. And in the process of making those videos, I get comments about VR chat and about me, but mostly about VR chat. And yeah. many of those comments yeah. are from people who know nothing about the game. Today, I'm going to answer them and talk about my thoughts on everything and why after getting all of these questions i realized vr chat has a perception problem and they should definitely take steps to change that we'll start with the most common question i get why do men use female avatars oh my god why do men use female avatars holy shit <laughs> oh he's starting strong oh my god. <laughs> he's coming out swinging the most common answer i get is why not why not be a furry why not be a dude using a female avatar do you use female characters in video games that you play girls are just more aesthetic than men maybe this is a hot take i'm still under the impression that it's a uh, it's still a little weird to me but at the same time in a social vr platform where you could be anything that you want i chose to be an asian guy with black hair and glasses is it just a lack of creativity from me who knows i, know. I like playing dress up on on my girl avatar do you and also play dress to impress on roblox yeah. <laughs> okay, that answers a lot of questions. I actually started up. I actually tried it recently and it is very fun. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of avatar creators. And they're also generally gay as hell. So there's that. Yeah. So the people I Lots feature, of gay people my friends, in chat. are men who use female avatars. And maybe that gives a picture that it's more prevalent Surprising. than normal. Maybe. At least in my videos. In fact, the main avatar that I use right now, a, a lot of the time, is uh, this, this, this one. What? This one, this one Kira by, by Cupcake. Point is, I, I use female avatars, and so I feel like I am somewhat able to answer this question myself. Now, when looking for an avatar to use yourself, everybody does it different. But for me, nowadays, uh, I tend to just go to Jinxie, go to the avatar section, and, and browse through page after page, okay. middle clicking on any that catch my eye and then going through those ones to see if it's right for me. Spoiler, they usually aren't. Booth avatars are too anime for me. Western avatars are too e-boy. I don't want to look like a stripper or a playboy or a femboy. Surprise, I know I'm okay with female avatars, but femboys uh, cross a line. Male avatars in the Western market are also plagued with some major problems. Performance and optimization are the major I ones. Kind 4K of, textures. I kind of see toggles, some of his points. Materials out the wazoo. And then proportions. They they just don't translate properly to VR. That's not just an e-boy problem either. E-girls are the same, especially with those platform heels. Hold on, we have another oof, dude oof. here who's using a male avatar. You're a dude I'm in VR couch. chat. What up, socks? First off, are you gay? No. Are you a woman? <laughs> uh, I am not a woman. Are you a fuckboy? No. I used to be a woman though. I used to use female other pose. Oh, uh, you should really? show the e-girl socks. That, so that, was the, yeah. that was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ventured off to being a female avatar first, and then you converted back to being a male. Yeah, yeah, Why? right? This is an old socks, Avi. I remember uh, this. Oh, I this was... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why? So, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. When in Rome, I liked the colors, and I got the whole aesthetic down, okay. and then I finally found just a dude that I liked. Okay. So I made a dude one. They're the group of people in VR chat who go around spouting the Bible and how being in a female avatar is weird and bad. And their number one argument was male perversion for why dudes choose to use female avatars. They might have been projecting a little bit. You think it's a little bit Maybe. of a projection? Yeah. Maybe, you know, 
It's not that deep. I, it, this, to me, just looks really cool, right? I like the colors. I like the outfit. Yeah, and then I switched to dude when I found something I liked. So you just I don't like, oh, resonate just with chill. the choices and... that are available to you on the market. Exactly. Yeah. Isn't it pretty gay to use a female a avatar? What's with all like the men? Isn't it pretty gay to use a female avatar? <laughs> it's not frog. It's a... It's, it's not frog. frog. There is no R frog. in my name. Frog. Not a single frog. one. Wait, is he not Dara Frog? frog. So Dara Frog's been popping off with the VR chat content, honestly. I get asked simply, what do you even do in VR chat? I think a lot of people get confused as to what this game is actually about. Yeah, when what you do you even do? Many other chat? games, there's a tutorial you'll go through. It'll give you an idea of just what LARP the game as is. a Think niche internet Tutorial micro celebrity in RuneScape or any. I mean, no, no, I think it's in the name. VR chat just chat? doesn't yeah. have that, so people don't realize. I, I think you're supposed to chat in VR. No, no, no. I need to start my career. I need to start my career as a DJ in this platform, and I have to go to every single open decks. Okay, and if you don't let me play, you are racist and misogynist. Don't, don't stop. You don't have to call me out like that. Yes, the same. Like going out and doing shit is so expensive, or it's not accessible where you live. So you get up online, you get a headset, and you can do whatever you want. So you're Come saying on. this is like a you're a third place because there's a lack of third places in your regular everyday life. Yeah. Your chat is so accessible. You get to see new DJs. You get to experiment new music you'd never hear because I have the options now. I can just stay at home and rave in VR instead of spending 25 bucks to get into the venue, then spend 50 bucks on alcohol and get, then spend, spend 20 bucks on going home with an Uber. We're pretty biased because what we know the most is the music and the rave stuff. But to be fair, it is one of the biggest communities that are available in VR chat because what else can you really do I guess you could do photography and videography but that <laughs> that requires uh, skill <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're yeah. not wrong. You're not yeah. wrong. Yeah. Tiff has been around. You want some questions on VR chat? Tiff's been around since like day dot. I'm sure Tiff has told me about this. There's a community of people that just they cook and they eat. They they yeah, actually no. eat food, yeah. but they're they have the headset no, on and they just eat yeah, together. Yeah, it's people that live oh. alone and what? they will. Yeah, yeah, Amazing. yeah. So if you live alone and you were to have dinner every night alone, yeah. they yeah. they join this group where they have like this big dinner table and they'll all sit down with their actual evening meal and they'll be with their friends and have dinner. No shot. Yeah. 90% of my time in the game in, in VR is just chilling in a world and talking to people. Yeah, a lot of that's what I normies, do in quote unquote, can't seem to understand that. They look at it as a failure of communicating with people in real life. So you turn to VR to an extent and for a subset of players, that's true. But look at it this way. It's kind of like hopping in any game with your friends and talking sh over hours. Not really discussing the game because you've played so much of it. It's as Sips described in the Yogscast Tekkit series. It's Lego talk, but not Lego talk. I guess it's more like bank standing in RuneScape or a VR version of what most people do in Final Fantasy nowadays. <laughs> VR chat is, is it's more personal, more real, because there's body language. And no distractions. You just talk, hang out, and that's okay. There doesn't have to be a, a plot point. There doesn't have to be a game loop or progression. That's not the point of the game. You make of the game what you want to make of the game. But if you just started, I think it's safe to assume that you're not having a great time unless you bring an outside existing friend group into the game with you. Early game yes. in VR chat is not Great. You spawn in, in the default home world, and it tells you the controls. It tells you the main features of the game, avatars, worlds. Great. But then, you're on your own, and you don't know what or where to go, or how to meet people. To make the game fun, you need two things. One is friends, and two is things to do with those friends. The best friends I've made in this game has been by being forced to work with them. What do I mean by being forced to work with them? Being I mean like it being a friend of a friend that I don't normally talk to and then we go to a game world and we're the only two left alive. That's how you break the barrier and start to talk to them more. On Steam, okay. there's a game- uh, I'm gonna pause right here just to- He does bring up a pretty good point of early game, mid game, and early game. I remember my early game experience doing exactly what he said. I came in with a big group of friends from real life during COVID, spent some time in VR chat together. Eventually they dropped off and I decided to stay because I met new people through what he was just describing right now, 
a plethora of shared experiences. Because of the shared experiences that I've created and went out of my way to seek, that's kind of how I ended up in a lot of the different social circles that I'm in right now. That's the early game journey generally, but there has to be some sort of catalyst for that to happen for the general populace. End game is ranked ERP. What? End game is ranked ERP. I think the point I'm trying to get across is if you put two people in a room and say, talk, get to know each other, unless they're a very specific type of person, they're not really gonna want to. But if you put two people in a room together and you say, here's a puzzle, figure out that puzzle together, you need two people, you're gonna find a lot more people actually doing that. I think the point he's to trying to make person. is, and by the in time order to make the friends, puzzle, even in real life, you need a shared a experiences. To talk to each other. But They've you can't necessarily to each other force it's really shared experiences. Hard to find you can things try to, to do in this game. You can try to facilitate a environment where you can create shared experiences, but like you said, you can't just force two people in a room to start talking to each other and try to solve a puzzle. It, it's just weird. But I'll keep pumping the gas. We need age verification, age separation, age gating. It'll make adults trying out the game stick with adults and kids trying out the game stick with kids. It's not just about sexual misconduct. It, it genuinely makes the experience better for people trying out the age game for the first verification. Time. It's not when do we duty. not it's talk not about Fortnite, this? It's not Fortnite where you can ignore the kids cuz you just shoot at each other. You don't uh, play every play week. VR chat. It's, a, it's a social game. Everything is built along the premise that you communicate to each other, you talk to each other. And adults and kids, well, surprise, they're different. They have different interests. One of the most common things I get in my comments Good is use not of in sound the form effects of a question. Too. It's in the form of a statement that VR chat is one of the most degenerate well done, yeah. platforms full of predators and, well, degens. VR chat has become a cesspool for all things to VR chat has become a cesspool. When I have, when have I not heard that? Man, now I brought this on myself. Let's be real. I made a video that's gotten half the views of my entire channel, where 70% of it is on the bad side of VR chat. Yeah, VR chat bad. My opinion bad VR chat. VR chat bad video. The Shangri La section. Still VR chat drama to the surface. Dark side of VR chat. Is very <laughs> if you join public lobbies, you're gonna find e girls, e boys, full body people sitting in front of mirrors with their lack of clothing on their avatar. So, is it true? I mean, I'm not, I'm not defending nobody, right? VR chat is the most immersive <clears throat> way to ERP on the entire internet, and as such, draws those people in. True. There's, there's nothing as immersive. If you are somebody on the internet who wants to make well content without showing your face or body, VR chat is the way to go. Also, true. That said, recently VR chat has cracked down heavily on the ERP groups within the game. Shangri La is gone. It's private. ERP groups you join to go and have group at any time of the day are for the most part gone. Everything that exists now is request to join and more heavily vetted, which is in my opinion, good. Another thing you see in relation to content, almost all the VR chat content I see being uploaded regularly or streamed even is one of four things. It's funny moments, not my cup of tea, but sure, it's fine. There's just too much oh, of it so and it's clearly geared towards children. VR Two chat content. is deviancy disguised as funny moments. Yeah, oh my Gator God, the entire Raffle Gator Three, YouTube channel. Three, exposed videos showcasing usually either talking about a specific person or the game in general. And four is troll content. That's popped up troll more content. recently as yeah. Gmod trolling doesn't seem to pay the bills anymore. When that's the extent of content you find when looking up VR chat, that's what people see the game as. So when they try the game for the first time, they usually try to imitate the people they watch. Funny moments is very geared towards kids and brings kids in, which is a problem for us adults who don't want to interact. My God, Dara. Dara, 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 you're speaking some facts, brother. I haven't been saying this for so long. I've said it on Spaces, I've said it on Twitter, I've said it- I've said it everywhere, dude. The state of VR chat content is- I don't think it helps the platform at all. But at the same time, it's a tried and true and tested method for gaining views. So if this is your full-time job, that is unfortunately where the majority of the audience is. 
a lot of people are not interested in VR chat content that's pushing the envelope or genuine technology being showcased. For example, Lion Turtle 21, Metaverse DGen. He has a podcast where he talks to community members that are building cool stuff or generally have built cool stuff in VR chat. Pars of all, he does a lot of reviews and features that could be added to VR chat, but it's not any of the things that Dara was just talking about. You know, Fia and Thrill. Thrill's not really VR chat specific, but Fia, I would say, is arguably in the space the biggest VR chat creator that's not doing any of those things. Although I will say, I have been noticing a slow middle ground growing in the community where they don't identify with any of those different content format types and they're desperately looking for content that's related to VR chat, but it's not just gone wrong, gone wild moments. That's a problem when it comes to kids and adults watching troll content, poisoning every public lobby with failed attempts of humor that's essentially poisoning verbal is assault. Word. And it's a problem as it attracts even more degens who want to shove their fake anime ass in people's faces. It's all a huge problem as well when it comes to regular ass people who won't try the game, they'll never play it, but they will get the image that is presented in these comments that that's all it is, because the normal aspects aren't ever featured, and they certainly don't get clicks. Even funny moments videos don't portray the truth of what the game is 99% of the time. I think streamers are a plague to VR chat nowadays. Oh, streamers are a plague to VR cool chat. People Funny moments. Shit. Nowadays, the views uh, yeah. have fallen the off, and they streamers, turn right? to cool content to get clicks. Oh, he didn't clarify Alpha just Gator is wiggle streamers. Point I'm most streaming of it, right now. Cloud Shit, I'm gonna play. Ooh. Twitter stars orbiting Yo, around play. him, and they all Damn. stream separately. And the type of content you'll see typically from them, well, it's, it's not a great portrayal of what the game is about. Just go through the VR chat section of Twitch. Nobody uses it as a fun medium to make cool stream ideas. Yeah, he's talking about go just chatting bait. section now. Goon bait? What the, the wiggle streamer? is this? Man? Yeah, the wiggle streamer, yeah. <laughs> this is on I'll Twitch. Mm, such a good boy. Mm, this makes me boy. highly uncomfortable. Mm, thank you, thank you. Stop it, get thank off my you, screen. Thank you. But hey, but hey, check this shit out. Whoa, right? <laughs> it's like those NPC things on TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> it is like the NPC things on TikTok. A lot of good boys on, you're just you're such a good yeah. Boy. It's it's definitely he's dead. <laughs> oh, oh god, just get this get this, this on is, my uh... face, Dara. Why is this section so long? <laughs> Lolithon is a big one. Great Moon Aroma is another because they use their skills with avatar creation to create a unique aspect that other streamers can't do. I kind of hate that they're the only examples. I want to make my opinion very clear here. I don't think sexual content is the issue. I think it's fine that it exists. The issue is an excess of sexual content and a lack of regular content. And the fact that this content is 10 times more popular than any of the regular content. And you can argue that's because the regular content is shit. That's, that's kind of my opinion on it. <laughs> but when that's the thing yeah, that pops up on the top, the regular when, content when you search up VR chat on, on these sites, like Twitch, for example, it plagues the mind of people looking into the game without playing it and makes them think that this is the main content on the game. It's just not. I just want more good content. I want more creative content. I want more content that won't make the general populace think VR chat is the worst thing ever full of degens, predators, and peoples. I, I hate how YouTube doesn't recommend that content, at least to me. Maybe I'm to blame though. I mean, researching for these videos has definitely ruined my algorithm. But I know it's not just me because everybody else that I talk to about this pretty much agrees with what I say. I don't think people who try the game for the first time get a good idea of what the game is like. And people who cover the game typically don't cover the casual aspects. Is it a degen game? No. Does it attract degens because they can do things like have immersive ERP in a hot female body? Sure. It's all who you surround yourself with. And if you get a good friend group, you'll have a good time. I'm criticizing all these people for their content, but I don't think the content is necessarily bad. This is more of a criticism for, for the whole ecosystem of content creation surrounding VR chat as to how people aren't really making use of the fact that it's in VR and, and you can do so much more with it. And I'm just as bad. Like, it's so much easier for me to just talk in front of the camera than work on making this custom world for a custom experience for a video. I don't know, man. I don't know.
These are just some thoughts. Yeah, he's I speaking have. some facts and though. Some I agree answers with him. to some questions. Very good video, Dara. Yeah, that was great. I can't blame him. Can we blame him for The only that? question that yeah. I have, if the landscape of the content is so bad, what content works then? As somebody who has tried and experimented a lot of different content formats, there isn't necessarily just one that sticks to the people the most. Great Moon Aroma and Lolathon are two very good examples because they mix a very popular format, which is trolling and being funny with their friends, paired along with their skills of avatar creation to create unique avatar experiences to showcase to their community. I think that's good, but that's still tackling on a already popular and existing format that is targeted towards children, typically. And it's one of the reasons why I had gotten really? a little bit burnt out of making content for, for a bit. Oh, really? I tried a lot of different unique formats. There were a couple lessons that I learned, which is you can't, you can't mask garbage content with high production value. That's what I learned. Because some of my content, while the production value was high, it was kind of garbage in terms of and value delivery. Some of the video ideas that I've had, they were good, but the question always popped up as, but why though? Like, why would I care? Make me care. And that's a very, very big question to pose yeah, yeah. when it comes to VR specific content. Learning how to deliver value is weird, especially in an emerging space like this.